1,000. <sighs> had to work off that Thanksgiving dinner, bro. I ate too much. What the heck were you guys eating? Huh? I want to know because, see, I want to know what was on your first plate because your first plate is the plate that you get whenever it's everything you have to eat before you're full. So the first plate is always the most important. So what the heck was on your first plate? Let me know. But other than that, guys, I'm I'm a little happy today. I'm a little happy today. In my previous video, okay, we were talking about PlayStation Experience and how there's not gonna be a showcase, and I kind of said that it was probably gonna be an underwhelming just event in general. But I think I jumped the gun big time. You all know the Game Awards, right? Produced and hosted by Jeff Kingley, I think that's how you see. I always want to say Geoff, but it's pretty sure it's Jeff. So this year, it's actually the day before PlayStation Experience. And this has never happened. The two events are usually like about a week apart. That's what they were the last two years, but never back to back. So, you know me, you know me, I like to think, overthink stuff, but still, hear me out. This could mean something, but at the same time, it could mean nothing. <laughs> Regardless, here's what I'm thinking. Jeff has been hyping up the Game Awards for like a month now, and he has some tweets where he says, expect the unexpected, hashtag the Game Awards. Then there's my favorite where he says, we work long hours on the Game Awards, but some days we see a brand new game announcement trailer that inspires us. Today was one of those days. And under that tweet, somebody asks if we'll see that game trailer uh, come December 7th, and he just goes, yes. <laughs> he just goes, yes. Listen, okay. I think this will be a big show. And this is going to be followed by PSX's smaller scale presentation on that Friday. In my head, I, I see PlayStation using TGA to show some announcement trailers. And then from there, they're gonna follow up those trailers just the next day with their own presentation. And then, you know, after they talk about it that first day, then for the next two days, maybe they can explain it and stuff. Basically, this is bringing me to believe that there is some type of collaboration going on with the Game Awards and PlayStation Experience. Them being back to back is what made me think of this, but as it is, the Game Awards lose, seems like it always lands on the first Thursday of December. It's just that in 2017, this first Thursday doesn't happen until the 7th of December. So it's not, I'm not saying that maybe it's planned, but it's just a wild thought and it makes kind of sense, you know? But regardless of that, flashback to 2016, and it's already apparent, Jeff, uh, the Game Awards, they have some connections, dude. Jeff took the liberty of having Hideo Kojima come on stage and unveil the second big Death Stranding trailer on stage at the Game Awards 2016. And then next week, you know, when PlayStation Experience happened, Jeff comes up on PlayStation stage and interviews Hideo Kojima again, okay? And they kind of go through the whole trailer and they even show a new trailer, not really new, but a different trailer with different music. And it actually adds a whole different level of like perspective to the whole trailer. So that's a big thing going on. And Jeff was the behind all of it to what it seems at least. But even without, you know, that of ever happened, happening the game awards has a good you know standing good relationship with the big three companies reggie phil's and me phil spencer sean Layden, they're all part of the advisory board for the game awards but based off of jeff's you know close connection with playstation due to him coming on playstation and experience and talking i don't think this collaboration no matter how small is that crazy of an idea you know what i mean but regardless that doesn't impact this topic that much so Whatever. So what am I trying to say exactly right now? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? TGA X PSX 2017 is going to bring us some fun. And if you guys are following our, you know, this channel's All Stars 2 Endeavor, be advised that I'm not talking about that specifically let's get down to the details i'm not gonna spend too much time on all stars 2 but hear me out okay hear me out based off of the last video we had on that topic i've stated that i have absolutely no clue what is going on with this game our new quote-unquote insider is one of the two people that i'm only believing from this point forward no other leak is gonna sway me anyway and both of those people say that the game is a thing but both of them 
have not told us much information at all, nor which which includes when it's going to be releasing, how far it is in development, none of that. They both don't say anything, they just say it's a thing. But in my opinion, this game needs to come by either next year or the next two years, because past that, it's useless. PS5 is either coming soon or will be talked about by then. So what's the point? The game sold well, despite its disaster of a you know development cycle so that means that the whole concept behind the game is good it just needs to be executed right so if playstation has the right aspirations for this title showing the trailer at an event that all video game fans are going to be watching or have the potential to watch because think about it playstation experience say you're a hardcore xbox fan maybe you don't care about it but the game wars this is for everything this is for every company anything game wise you will be watching this so imagine dropping an announcement trailer for all stars 2 at an event where everybody's eyes will see it that's all I'm gonna say. But let it be known, okay, that I am not expecting anything All Stars 2 related between now, or I said, between December 7th through the 10th, okay? None of that is being expected from me. That's on y'all if you want to. My actual sights, okay, are set on Japan Studio. We have word that they're working on something, and we know that this project is on the level of a Sucker Punch or Naughty Dog title. You know, in the past, you know, Japan Studio was just about making these smaller budgeted titles, but they give you these magical experiences. But with the recent success of Bloodborne and them acquiring some From Software developers, I'm telling you, Japan Studio has been hard at work for years now. They're making something crazy. But why am I bringing them up right now? And how do I know they're working on something? We know PlayStation held back announcement at E3 2017, and we already knew that they had a bunch of stuff to announce in 2017 all from the mouth of Yoshida. But specifically, okay, if we look at Japan Studio specifically, at the end of 2016, two producers of Bloodborne on Japan Studio's side said they were hoping to reveal their, their ambitious title this year. Let's just read the article real quick. All right, let's just read it. Sony producers tease new and ambitious games. Shuhei Yoshida wants 2017 to be a year of PS4 software. Skipping all the other stuff, it says Bloodborne producer Teruyuki Toriyama mentioned that while he can't provide details yet, the studio is working on ambitious titles and concepts for new games at the same time, asking fans to continue to, to support ISIE Japan Studio in 2017 as well. Asaki Yamagiwa, who also worked as a producer in Bloodborne on Sony's side, joined in as well, explaining that he has kept working behind the scenes after the, the release of Bloodborne and hopes that in 2017, something he has been working on will come to fruition. Last but definitely not least, SCE Worldwide Studios president Shuhei Yoshida mentioned that he feels that 2016 has been the year of PlayStation hardware, with PSVR, PS4 Pro, and the slimmed down PS4 being released. He would like to turn 2017 into the year in which amazing software is delivered to make use of that hardware. And this isn't the first time Teruyuki Toriyama has said this, man. Flashback, rewind back to 2015, he basically said the same thing. It was the end of 2015, and he goes, I will try my best to deliver an ambitious title in 2016, so please support SCE Japan Studio from now on. 2016 came nothing 2017 is here and almost over still nothing and now we're on the last two events of the year japan studio it's up to y'all <laughs> what y'all gonna do now aside from that factor okay aside from i guess you could say the sony concentrated standpoint in the whole third party and general game wise standpoint we have some interesting things going on. There was a guy who uh, previously leaked the DLC coming from Justice 2. And now mind you, I have Justice 2, but I do not care for it at all. But I am kind of interested in seeing the characters. So he was saying Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and some other person was going to be added into, I think, Fighter Pack 3. Yo, I didn't even really look into this to this uh, leak, I just kind of saw it on my timeline. I did not pay a single mind to a dog. I thought, I was like, if somebody believes this man saying Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is coming into Injustice 2, I was like, you gotta be an idiot. I was like, you gotta be an idiot to believe that. And what do you know? 
A couple weeks later, this shit is confirmed, dog. I almost had a heart attack. I'm telling you, it was crazy. It was crazy. So along with him saying DMC5 will be shown at PlayStation Experience, he also says stuff about uh, Dragon Ball Fighters DLC is gonna include uh, Broly, Goku base form and Vegeta base form, and he also mentions Soul Calibur 6. As it stands, bro, I believe this dude, he could tell me I'm not gonna have a child or I will have a child in two days and I will believe him. <laughs> I will believe him. But in the part where he's starting to talk about Soul Calibur 6's reveal, it rang a bell in my head. If some of you guys recall, our boy Veranidas had said that Soul Calibur 6 was a thing back in 2014. So 2015 came, some of the titles that he had listed had come and some haven't yet. And so he made a new list and removed some of them. And Soul Calibur 6 was still there, basically reconfirming it in 2016. My bad, 2015. Then in 2016, okay, Soul Calibur turned 20 years old. They made a new logo, they had a little bit of like a briefing to, to, that they released to the public and said, and at the end of that they said, surprises are coming, and they had a little quote, uh, be ready, legends are coming, or something like that. This happened in around July of 2016, and the actual anniversary anniversary is the is 20th of December, or something like that. So I think the game was supposed to be released last year, but something happened. And if you look at the post of the leaker, he actually explains that whole situation. But also in that post, he basically says he's not sure of when it's actually going to be released or revealed, but he's assuming either the Game Awards or PlayStation Experience. All in all, with the potential releases or reveals of Japan Studios Project, DMC5, Soul Calibur 6, and all the other things that could possibly happen like an Ape Escape 4 or a reboot, please. These two events are gonna have some stuff for us to have fun about and just be excited for, man. I, I think it's gonna be cool. Like I've been saying, I think what's gonna happen is gonna be a bunch of trailers shown at the Game Awards and then following up happening at PlayStation Experience where they explain it, you know what I'm saying, or give us more details or stuff like that. And then of course, I think they're gonna have their own surprises as well. And the big thing, man, is don't forget Jeff's tweets because regardless, there's gonna be some big game announcements. He already said expect the unexpected. So there is literally some stuff that he has told us big that's gonna happen. Happen. So now it's just, it's just this big, all this information. We just don't know what to do with it. We're just excited for, we don't know what. But of course we don't want to get our hopes up too much. Cause that's whenever you go into depression, you know what I mean? So whatever it is, you know, no matter what you're hoping for, hoping to see, keep it at bay. I don't want to say minimum, but keep it at bay. So you don't get completely disappointed and you just hate both of them because you didn't get what you wanted. So just control it. You know what I'm saying? Be excited, but don't get out of here. So other than that, that's all I got to say. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video. All right. Peace. You see, I'm waiting and they hating and I'm sipping on my tea. Bad bitch walking past. May I stop you, please? And I'm hungry as a bitch, but this life ain't free. Life ain't if free. I'm trying to get this money, I can't really shake a tree. I be working, I be working. It's a quarter past three. Damn. When I stop, feet, I'm gonna do the dash. When you find a place where I be, whipping with my dad. When it comes to plotting that green, yeah. Flex, 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 flex. Wearing all designer, hey. bitch, you next. Bitch, you next. Flushing all the green, green. looking fresh.